Okay, so we're going to review some geometry um, terms and ideas with this uh, homework here from Bridges Math Grade 4. In this first one, you're basically just looking at these uh, little images and saying what they are. And I think this will be, this should be okay. Let me just review one quick thing, which is parallel means uh, lines that will never touch. Even if they keep going, they will never touch. And then perpendicular means uh, they're intersecting lines, it means they cross, and they form 90 degree angles. So uh, you just need to match up these words here with these things up here, and I think that will be okay for you. Now we're talking about polygons. So let's again review that term real quick. So a polygon is a closed uh, two-dimensional or 2D shape with three or more sides. And the other thing is there are no curved lines. So if you look at these five shapes here in number two, um, it's pretty simple. There are two polygons there. I'm not going to tell you which ones, but some of them are curved. Some of them are open. There's two there that are um, straight lines and closed and no curved lines. So <clears throat> figure out which those are and circle them. And now we're talking about symmetry, and we're looking for specifically exactly one line of symmetry and symmetry means uh, kind of the same on both sides so this first shape here has there's no symmetry at all okay the rest of them are symmetrical but it's uh, about figuring out how many lines of symmetry there are so for example this equilateral triangle has a line of symmetry there and it has a line of symmetry there and a line of symmetry there, <clears throat> so that you would not circle. However, this trapezoid has one line of symmetry, which is right there. So you'd circle that one, <clears throat> and we already drew the line of symmetry. The next two, I'm going to let you figure that out. I would start by drawing the lines of symmetry, if they have them, and circle the one that has exactly one line of symmetry. Right <clears throat> obtuse and acute angles, I think we got that. Um, you just need to circle which um, which word here makes that correct. If you forgot, you can look it up. <clears throat> and then we're going on to draw them. So can you draw an acute angle and a right angle? And then this one <clears throat> is an angle that measures about 120 degrees. So to think about this, so we know that that is about 90 degrees, or that is exactly 90 degrees because it's the right angle. So what would 30 degrees be? 30 degree degrees would be um, about a third of that, right? So 30 degrees would look about like that. And it's saying 120 degrees. So basically, you'd have to add those together. So I'm going to draw an angle, and it's going to be obtuse. And maybe something along that direction would be about 120 degrees. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just estimate. And now we're getting into perimeter and area again. So uh, let's just sketch this uh, garden real quick. It's 23 feet by 16 feet. And again, the perimeter is the area around. So you're going to add four numbers together to get the perimeter. And then the area is the amount that takes up. So you need to multiply for that. So let's draw a model to help us with this. So I'm going 23 by 16 like that. And I would break it down to help with this. And then you're going to have four rectangles to figure out and add up for the area of that whole thing. <clears throat> and then this challenge one, Clover is mowing her backyard, which is a rectangle. And one side is 60 feet and the other side is 25 feet. But here's the deal. Um, it took 30 minutes, which is not really relevant to this uh, question. But what is relevant is this part where she says she did half of her backyard. Okay, so she only mowed half of this thing. Right? And how much did she mow? Well, uh, what you're going to need to do is take half of 60 and then you've got 
like this right here is going to be half of 60, right? So how much is that? And then you're going to multiply that by 35 to figure that out. And again, uh, you can draw a model to figure that out if you want with 20 and 5 and then <clears throat> whatever you have up here uh, once you figure that out. So that was some review. This is Bridges Math uh, Grade 4 Unit 5, but basically just some geometry terms for review. So thank you and goodbye.